Hello, friend. Mormo here today. We're talking about leveraging online platforms for selling your art and your artist trading cards or whatever your craft or your art is. You can sell it online. And uh, personally, I sell on eBay. It's just comfortable for me because I've been selling on eBay since the 90s and I know how to do it. I know what to expect. So it's very easy for me to list items on eBay. And uh, a lot of people swear by Etsy, for instance, Cobra has told me before that I could make more money selling on Etsy. And I've had other people tell me that I could make more money, like maybe 30 bucks a card selling on Etsy. And the main reason why you should consider selling on a popular um, online marketplace is that you can show up in search. So you already have built in traffic and um, and that way you can, um, like I say, sh show up in search where you can write your descriptions and your titles with um, SEO, search engine optimization, so that these websites already have built-in buyers looking for art and artist trading cards. So when they search for new art or artist trading cards, you'll show up and you can reach new customers on these platforms that have a built-in customer base already and people who already shop there for the kind of items that you're selling. Um, you could always set up your own website and store with like Spotify and there's different online selling platforms uh, like I think Weebly and uh, I can't think of the other one right now but there's like website platforms that allow you to sell directly through your website but these won't really get traffic unless you can sh somehow show up and search like if you could rank on Google which I know can be pretty difficult but you can always get traffic from social media to send to your own store and if you have your own store you'll probably pay less in uh, fees <coughs> because on eBay and Etsy they charge you fees for being on their marketplace if you have your own store you'll get charged less fees so that is one way to go and when you're showcasing and selling your art online you always want to have that search optimization in mind so use really descriptive titles and uh, descriptions filled with keywords of what your potential customers might be searching for so for me it's like a CEO ATC artist trading card and stuff like that you put all that in your title and your description so that you can show up on the platform when people search of course you want to have a good artist bio um, describing your life and your career and everything that makes you unique and in turn makes your art more unique And then you want to utilize social media as a powerful tool for exposure and sales. So you want, you want to drop links to your store 
on Facebook and YouTube and uh, Twitter and Instagram on everything. And so you can show up on people's news feed. I heard today the average Facebook user spends like 40 minutes a day on Facebook so you can have like a business page on Facebook and get people to follow you and then some people will share your art on social media and uh, and then like I say you can show a picture of your art and then if anybody inquires you can just drop a link to your online store your online platform and thanks so much. Keep watching. Okay, friends. So there's my lecture about online platforms where you can sell your art. And uh, I forgot to mention just like getting paid directly. Like you could just post a picture of your art on social media and then collect payment through PayPal or Cash App and then you're going to get a lot less fees and some of your customers will be a lot more comfortable with that they won't want to sign up for a third par party account and I'm sure I got people in my customer base who like had a bad experience with eBay and won't use eBay but when I started um, selling my art online that's what I did was just sell directly and just tell people send me 10 bucks via PayPal or um, cash app and then collect their address and everything through social media you can always just sell your art through social media and you can always run ads on social media to sell your art even as little as a dollar a day you can reach a large targeted audience of people who might be interested in purchasing your art and uh, and yeah so it's all up to you do you want to join a art do you want to join a, a marketplace um, where there's all kinds of people selling their arts and their crafts and their goods and stuff and then where you already have built-in buyers and everything would you rather do it that way or would you rather um, or would you rather have your own website and pay less fees but have to drive your own traffic and not have those inbuilt buyers or do you want to just sell strictly through um, social media and just collect payments through Cash App or PayPal? It's all up to you and they all work. They all have their different advantages. I know on eBay, people can subscribe to you and then they'll get updated every time you upload. That's one of the advantages of eBay. I'm sure you can do the same thing on Etsy. But it's nice if you collect people's um, contact info and then you can update them about new products that come out. That way you can get those repeat customers that keep coming back again and again and buying your art because I know like one model and this is the model I'd really like to achieve in two, 2024 is um, where you have a thousand raving fans that spend a hundred dollars a year 
through you. And so, and I would do it with a mix of um, physical products and digital products. And uh, that's what I'm working towards in the new year as far as like becoming wealthy and stuff like that. So, but anyways, thanks so much for watching and, uh, and also be sure and click the link in the description. There's a link to my eBay store. If you'd like to trade art with me, I'm always open to that too, but my prices are right now they're pretty low they're about to go up on ebay but you can always just order my art and then send me your art and or whatever i don't know just get in touch with me if you want to trade or if you're interested in picking up some of my art click the link in the description and thanks so much Hello friend, Mormo here. I've started my very own collection and personal series of trading cards. Each one is personally hand drawn and designed by me. This has been a creative and lucrative business for myself. I personally autograph and date each one. Each card is uniquely different. If you would like to order a card today, you can search for Mormozine on eBay or contact me at mormozine at hotmail.com. Thanks so much.